Oops. We are continuing with our parts of speech part of lesson five. Hopefully you watched the video to review the parts of speech that we've been talking about. We're gonna focus on um, some specific parts of activity book page 5.5. You're not gonna do everything that they're asking you to do. What we are going to do, we are going to draw a vertical line separating the subject and predicate. Remember the subject is who or what the sentence is about. The predicate is the verb and everything else in the sentence. We are going to circle the nouns in the sentence and we're going to draw a wiggly line under the verbs. Okay, so let's do several together and then I'm going to have you do some on your own. Okay, so let's look at number one. Number one says, the pottery was from a small factory. The first thing I want to do is draw a line between the subject and the predicate. This sentence is about the pottery. And the verb, even though it's not action, is the word was. Okay? So I'm going to circle pottery. That's the noun. I drew a line between pottery and was because that's where the sentence has sort of the beginning, the subject and the predicate. And was is the verb. There is another noun in this sentence and it is factory. It's a thing. Let's look at number two. Some artists draw pictures on cloth. So if we can pick out the verb, we can go from there to pick out the subject. Draw is the verb, it's an action. Artists is who the sentence is about. So I'm gonna draw my line right there to separate those two. There's another noun in this sentence. Can you find it? It is cloth. Let's go down to number five. So we did number one, we did number two. Let's do number five together. The little boy was out in the red barn. Was is the verb. It's not showing an action. It's what we call showing a state. It's a state of being. He was. So I'm going to put a squiggly line under was. I'm going to draw my line. That's not really squiggly. Draw my line between boy and was because the noun, who or what the sentence is about, it's about the boy. And there's another noun in that sentence. That's right. It's barn. Excellent. Let's do number six. Mr. Jones likes the tall tale about the twin sisters. Mr. Jones likes the tall tale about the twin sisters. Who or what is this sentence about? It's about Mr. Jones. I'm gonna draw my line there. That separates the subject and predicate. The verb is likes. Mr. Jones likes. And then there's two other nouns in this sentence. Tail is one. Now you might think tall tail, but tall actually describes what kind of tail it is. And then the other noun is sisters. Let's do one more together. Let's do number eight together. Dad did not want to stay for the whole show. Dad did not want to stay for the whole show. Dad is who the sentence is about. I'm gonna put my line there because that's the predicate. Did not want. And there's one more noun in that sentence. It is show. So boys and girls, you are going to try to do exactly what we did here. So notice we are not doing this. We aren't drawing a box around the adjectives and drawing arrows. We're not doing all of that. You're drawing a line to separate the, the noun in the subject and the verb. You're circling the nouns and you're putting a squiggly line under the verbs. So you are going to complete 
numbers three, four, we did number six together, seven, nine, and 10. Those are the problems that you are doing. Let me put number 10 down here. Those are the ones that you are trying on your own. Three, four, seven, nine, and 10. I can't wait to see what you do.